gents. Let's get to your stock picks for today. Shane, what is your stock pick? So Zanotti, I've actually interestingly picked Amplats as my stock pick. Mm -hmm. um, the share price has been negatively impacted by the news that Anglo-American and Billiton will unbundle Amplats. But the interesting thing is that because the company is 70% owned by Anglo-American, it's significantly downweighted in the indices because they free float adjusted. So to the extent that the free float becomes 100%, the, 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 the weighting will increase. And at present moment, the weighting of Amplats is 0,7%, but in a full unbundling in the SWIX, that will go to 4%. And into the MSCI South Africa index, that weighting will go to 6%. Amplats will essentially have the same weighting as Standard Bank. It'll be one of the top five weightings in our market. So there will be a lot of passive buying for the share. On top of that, there's a very significant short interest in Anglo-American Platinum. Uh, we think it's about 20 to 30 days trade to cover. So a lot of people are short. And in fact, there's almost no borrow if you wanted to increase your short position. In, uh, in addition to that, there's a very significant short interest in palladium. Uh, we think that about six or 700,000 ounces of palladium are short. Now, remember, the whole palladium market is only about 9 million ounces per annum. So if you combine the short interest in the underlying commodity and the short interest in the company itself with the potential up weighting, and then I think also the fact that actually Amplats is a reasonably good company. Um, it's probably got the best uh, platinum mine in the world in uh, Mojalaquena because it's an open cost mine, not an underground mine. We think those factors together combine to make this actually quite an interesting situation. And if the share does get sold off again on the unbundling, we think it's a good opportunity to buy it. Mm, all right. What are you buying, Devin? It's one we've chatted about before. It's the China Internet ETF, KWeb. Um, does come with a health warning. It, it is volatile. But I think, you know, to our earlier discussion around Tencent, I think you're starting to see a lot of these Chinese tech shares be rediscovered, um, creating, you, you know, earning the, the right for investors to look at them again from being uninvestable a while back. I think they are starting to, to really show some good earnings growth. Uh, we've got JD, Alibaba, Tencent all in there. Oh. You're getting in one thing. Um, we have seen a shift in government policy to try to be more investor friendly, to try to stimulate that economy and, and prop up uh, the property sector. So, so we think the tech sector potentially moves first there. We've started to see that move. It's up 20% odd in the last month. And, and we think that could be so lead the charge higher from China. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, gents, and for coming to studio. Uh, that is all for tonight's Stock Watch. And thanks to our guests, Shane Watkins from All Weather Capital and Devin Shute from the Rebay Group. Up next, the close. Stay with us. <laughs>